the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his last and beloved Major Muhammad, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. The title of this presentation is Discoveries and Inventions from the Quran. So in this series of lectures, I will talk about the superiority of the knowledge of Allah God Almighty in the Quran to the knowledge of people in this day and age and how the Quran, the last revelation of Allah God to people talk about matters that modern science failed to reach and failed to discover so in this presentation I will talk about the relationship between cancer and the mental state of a person now without a doubt cancer is on the widespread and it's increasing so much the incident of um, cancer so I will explore a new avenue in this regard which is is there a relationship between cancer and the mental state of a person this is the big question posed today and in modern psychology and medicine and modern science just starting to scratch the surface of the subject the link between cancer and mental state of a person now all of this knowledge and all the knowledge presented in this lecture will be obtained from pondering upon the verses of the Quran the last revelation of Allah God to people so to start with what is proven about the effect of stress and what I'm talking about psychological stress mental stress like your um, mental state to be agitated angry um, stressed psychological stress so this is just a summary of what's proven about the effect of stress on our health to start with the effect of, of stress on brain and nerves this is just a summary not all the effect is a summary psychological stress mental stress and agitation can cause headaches feeling of despair lack of energy anger increased or decreased eating trouble concentrating memory problems trouble sleeping and this is some of the uh, side effects of psychological stress and agitation on skin it can cause skin problems reduced healing times on muscle and joints muscle aches and tension especially in the neck shoulders and back risk of osteoporosis of decreased bone density on the heart it can cause faster heartbeat rise in blood pressure increased risk of high cholesterol and heart attacks on the stomach nausea stomach pain heart burn weight gain on the pancreas there is an increased risk of diabetes and for example in the on the immune system lower ability to fight or recover from illnesses so this aspect I will concentrate on the immune system so stress and agitation can cause a reduced ability of the, your immune system to fight off diseases now this is a big kind of um, point we need to ponder upon so if stress and it's proven that stress it is proven that stress can reduce the power of your immune system now one of the functions of the we know of course of the immune system that it fights off bacterial infections and uh, virus and so forth but another aspect of the immune system is that when for example cells um, divide out of control let's say one of the functions of the immune system is to eat these um, cells that divide without control so it is like um, a safeguard on cancer so when these cells start to d d divide out of control the one of the functions of the immune system is to keep them under control so when the power of this immune system is reduced the risk or the incident of uh, getting cancer becomes high I hope this point is clear so there is a relationship between psychological stress and the incident of cancer and we will see this more and more as the presentation uh, proceeds so we want to take this step by step so 
So the first step, is there a link between Satan, the devil, and the mental state of a person? We want to answer the question, why people in this day and age that are so much angry, so much agitated, always under stress, psychological stress, why is that? Because the main theme of this age, people are so angry, agitated all the time, stressed all the time, and that ha has um, a, a very bad effect, a horrible effect on their health. So I want to investigate why is that. So if we go to the Quran, as you can see on the screen, in the Quran in chapter 2 verse 169, Allah the Almighty describes to us the symptoms of the effect of Satan on each and every one of us. Because we learn from the Quran that each and every person has a companion devil. That when you are born, there's a companion devil assigned to you at birth and it saves you till death. And Allah describes to us the symptoms of the effect of this companion devil on you. And this is the verse, this is the translation. He, i.e. Satan, commands you what is harmful, sinful, and to say about Allah God what you have no knowledge of. So Allah is telling us here that Satan, he commands you as a person, and this happens to each and every one of us, no one is immune from this. What is harmful, to hurt yourself and others. What is sinful, perverted sexual ideas and scenarios. And to say about Allah what you have the knowledge of, meaning blasphemy, insulting Allah, God Almighty, insulting Prophet Muhammad, insulting the Quran, the last revelation of Allah, God to people. So these are the, the symptoms of the effect of Satan on us. Now if we compare this to a very famous study done by a very famous psychologist called Aubrey Lewis, this person, he asked the people who are, who are labeled mentally ill, he asked them what kind of ideas they that they cause you mental pain and agitation. So this is the big question. Now the results of this study can be summarized as follows. So these uh, people, they told him, we can classify these ideas for you in the following categories. Firstly, we have ideas of harm, ideas popping up in our mind, telling us to hurt ourselves and others. Ideas of filth and lust, perverted sexual ideas and scenarios that come up into our mind. And ideas insulting religious values, blasphemy. So if we compare these symptoms that cause people mental pain and anguish, these symptoms right here, with the symptoms of the effect of Satan on each and every person as described in the Quran, in the last revelation of Allah God to people, he commands you what is harmful, sinful, and to say about Allah what you have knowledge of. So we see, brothers and sisters, a perfect match between the two. So this proves that Satan, the devil, is the only reason why people go out of limits in their anger, in their agitation. In their so this proves again that Satan is the sole reason for mental, what is called mental illnesses or mental disturbances. By whispering to you in your mind ideas of harm, lust, and blasphemy. Now, let's um, understand this more and more. In a verse in the Quran, Allah describes us the physical mechanism, the scientific mechanism of how Satan affects each and every one of us. And that's verse number 4 of chapter 114 of the Quran, which reads, From the evil of the whisperer who hides. From the evil of the whisperer who hides. So Allah is telling us that Satan, this companion devil, he whispers to you, he talks to you, but at the same time he hides from you, meaning he doesn't want you to feel his presence. Now, the only way my dear brothers and sisters, that this companion devil can talk to you at the same time hide from you, is if he matches his voice with the one you hear in your head. Let me explain this further. Now each and every one of us, when he thinks quietly, he hears a voice in his mind, exactly one, the, like the one he's talking with, and that's the voice of yourself. What your companion devil does, he matches his voice with, with regards to all aspects, language, the style of speech, your tone, everything. And he matches his, vo this, his voice to the one you hear in your mind. So ideas pop up in your mind. You think yourself is telling you this because the voice is identical. F as explained in the Quran, from the evil of the whisperer who hides. So ideas pop up in your mind containing ideas of harm, 
and you think that yourself is telling you this because the voice is identical. I hope now it's clear how the physical or the scientific mechanism and how Satan affects each and every one of us. And as I said, I really emphasize this point. There is no one immune from this. We all experience this. Okay, that's the first point to get across. Now the second point, if we ponder upon verse number 2 of chapter 168 of the Quran, which reads, O people, eat of that which is lawful and good on the earth, and follow not the footsteps of Satan. Verily, he is to you an open enemy. So if we ponder here at the end of the verse, Allah, God Almighty, is telling us that verily, Satan to you is an open enemy. Satan is an enemy for a person. And as an enemy, he wants to inflict maximum damage on you um, physically and mentally. Again, Allah is telling us that Satan, this companion devil, is an enemy for us. And as an enemy, your, your enemy doesn't want what's good for you. He wants to inflict maximum damage on you psychologically and physically. So, let's talk, and we talked a little bit about the psychological aspects of Satan, how he causes you mental pain and agitation and, con and anger by whispering, by talking to you with a voice past the one you think with, ideas of harm, lust, and blasphemy. Okay, so to explain this further, let's ponder upon verse number 90 of chapter 5 of the Quran, which reads, O you who believe, intoxicants, gambling, and al ansab and al-Islam are an abomination of Satan's handiwork, so avoid that in order that you may be successful. Also in the Quran, Allah is telling us that, for example, let's consider intoxicants, consumption of alcohol. That's an abomination of Satan's handiwork, that Satan causes a person to drink intoxicants, to consume alcohol. Let me explain this by a very simple example. A person had a hard day at work. When he comes back in the evening, returns to his home, this companion devil, he comes to him with a voice to match the one he thinks with in his mind, telling him as if that person is thinking to himself, look, I had a very hard day at work, so if I drink a little bit of alcohol just to relax, just to unwind. So Satan comes to you with a voice match the one, thinks, one you think with, disguising himself as an advisor, as if he's advising you. But actually he's, he wants to harm you. So when you start drinking alcohol, you become an alcoholic. And that wastes your life, your health. So you see how Satan, as an enemy, he wants to inflict maximum damage. This is one example. So, um, so as he inflicts uh, this damage, let's take another kind of uh, the link between Satan and agitation and anger. And that's explained in the Quran in chapter 17, verse 64, which reads, And before them gradually, those whom you can among them with your voice, make assault on them with your imaginations and induced feelings, share with them wealth and children, and make promises to them. But Satan promises them nothing but deceit. So, in this verse at the beginning, Allah says, And before them gradually, those who you can among them with your voice. Now the Arabic word used here is wastafziz. This, this word has uh, multiple meanings. The first meaning of it, that before them gradually. So Allah is telling us that Satan befools you, he tricks you gradually with his voice. And the example of alcohol is a very straightforward example that he tricks you in drinking alcohol and becoming alcoholic and wasting your life and your health by his voice. Another meaning of this word stepses is agitation, stress. So Allah is telling us that Satan causes you agitation and psychological stress. And that links to mental health and links to the incident of cancer. Because as an enemy, Satan as an enemy, he wants to inflict maximum damage on you. And Satan is an expert on the human body. So he knows the, bad, the horrible effects of chronic stress and agitation on your body. Let me explain um, how Satan can cause you excessive anger and agitation. Again, the answer from the Quran. All what you need to know is in the Quran, the last revelation of Allah, God to people. So, 
Let's see how Satan causes you excessive anger and agitation and psychological stress. We can learn this by pondering upon verse number 175 of chapter 3 of the Quran which reads, It is only Satan that suggests you the fear of his awliya, supporters and friends. So fear them not, but fear me if you are believers. So Allah is telling us here, explaining to us, what is the weapon of Satan? Every enemy must have a weapon to use against you. What is the weapon, the main weapon of Satan? It's fear. The weapon of Satan is fear. Let me explain this by giving examples. Okay. Let's take the first example, being unclean. I'll, I want to give this by real life examples. A person wash, washing himself in the morning, when he's leaving the, the bathroom, a voice comes to him in his mind, with a voice like the one he thinks with, telling him, look, you are unclean. You are dirty. You'll become ill. Go and back and repeat your washing many times over. He becomes... He becomes um, so afraid of being unclean. Look how the weapon of Satan is fear. He makes you fearful of being unclean. So what, you, what this does to you, it causes you angry, anger, physiological stress, it wears you down. So glory be to Allah again from the verse in the Quran that Allah is telling us that Satan causes you agitation by his voice. That's one example. Another example the fear of illnesses, being sick. Again, Satan comes to the voice match the one you think with, well, the one you think with, telling you, look, this disease will happen to you. Look at the symptoms it's starting with you. You become fearful. Fear causes agitation, psychological stress, excessive anger. Look how this enemy works. Another example, poverty. He comes to you with a voice match the one you think with, telling you, look, you become poor, you'll become this and that, you become fearful, the person becomes fearful, becomes stressed, agitated all the time. Uh, blasphemy, another example. People with good moral values, Satan comes to them in the, their mind, insulting religious values, insulting Allah, God Almighty. So a person, because he doesn't know the source of this voice, he thinks himself is telling you the, uh, these thoughts, he becomes so fearful that how Allah God will forgive these kind of ideas that come to our mind. So you see by these examples how Satan causes you excessive fear, agitation, confusion. And all of this, as I said, it destroys your health. And increase the risk of cancer. So now we understand the relationship between cancer and Satan. Satan, by whispering to you with a voice better than what he thinks with, what do you think with, and causing you um, to become fearful that causes mental agitation, stress and that reduces the, your, your, the power of your immune system so the incident of diseases and cancer increase, increases ok, um, what's the cure? how to reduce the stress produced by Satan? what's the cure? again, the cure is explained in full details in the Quran, the last revelation of Allah God to people. So the first place to find the cure in the Quran is chapter 7, verses 200-201. This is the translation. And if an evil whisper comes to you from Satan, then seek refuge with Allah God. Verily, he is all here, all knower. Verily, those who are pious, when an evil thought comes to them from Satan, they remember and then they see. Okay. Um, so Allah is teaching us that when an evil whisper comes to you from Satan, when a thought comes in your mind, for example, telling you, that, look, you will settle Allah God Almighty and this, that will happen to you, will be placed into hell and so forth. The first thing to do when this thought comes to your mind, seek refuge with Allah, meaning to remember this guidance you are hearing from the Quran, to remember that this voice that I just experienced, this thought, is not from myself, it's from my companion devil. He wants to... to make me agitated, confused, stressed, he wants to destroy me. That's the first thing to uh, remember. The second thing to do is explain the Quran in chapter 2 verse 168 which reads, O people, eat of that which is lawful and good on the earth, 
and follow not the footsteps of Satan. Verily, he is to you an open enemy. So Allah is instructing us not to follow the footsteps of Satan, meaning when you experience this thought, do not agree with it, do not believe it, do not carry it out. Basically try to ignore the thoughts placed in your mind by Satan, by a voice matter when you think with. Try to ignore them. When you ignore them, the, the level of stress, the level of anger will go down and your health will improve. And the incident of cancer will be reduced. Because, brothers and sisters, in this day and age, the Satan's influence on people is so much. It's more than you can even imagine. And one of the byproducts of the effect of Satan on people, excessive stress. And to know more details about this topic and other topics on the signs of the Qur'an in our time, please visit my website at www.quran-miracle.com. This is the website. And you can email me at zaidquran at yahoo.com and at gmail.com. And may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all.